Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to part 33 of Introduction to C++ here on sololearn.com. Everyone can code. So uh, this this uh, lesson is the default arguments. So we have default values for parameters. When defining a function, you can specify a default value for each of the last parameters. If the corresponding argument is missing when you call a function, it uses the default value. To do this, use the assignment operator to assign values to the arguments in the function. So we have our normal parameters, and then we set an equal sign, so just to set a default parameter in case the user or the client um, does not enter any, anything in there. So it's like an extra layer of validation for our function. So this assigns a default value of 42 uh, to the B parameter. If we call the function without passing the value for the B parameter, the default value will be used. Cool. So the second call to the, to the function does not pass a value for the second parameter, and the default value of 42 is used instead. So type in the default value for the parameters of the function volume. Suppose the parameter A has a default value 2, the parameter B has a default value 3, and the parameter C has a default value 5. So let's say 2, B equals 3, and C equals 5. Awesome. All right, and using default arguments. So here, again, we're setting uh, these all equal to 1 as our default. And uh, as you can see, default parameters can be used for calling the same function in different situations when one or more parameters are not used. So it's just incorporating that layer of validation. So what is the output of the following code? So we have a function void print sum. It's not going to return anything, uh, but it is going to output something to the console output stream. So um, looks like here we're saying 13. So 13 is going to correspond to A, but we don't have a value for B, so we're going to say 13 plus 4, and we should get 17 as the response. Awesome. All right, uh, so that is it, guys, for part 33 of Introduction to C++ here on solalearn.com. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Please support the channel. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.